All right, it is barbecue season, absolutely. And you're gonna invite all of your friends over for a barbecue and you're crazy excited. And you tell them, man, we're gonna have the best barbecue ever. And you go to the store to get your select choice of meats and you tell all your friends and you're so excited because you are going to get the best slab of steak and you're gonna cook those, make sure you use lots of salt. You're gonna cook a good steak. But you get there and you realize that steak is expensive. And then you realize, man, I'm just a college student. I probably shouldn't take out a subsidized loan to buy steak for this barbecue. So then you say, well, what's the next best option? The price of steak is too high. Well, I now demand another kind of good, another kind of meat, a good meat. And so therefore you say, I'm gonna look at delicious hamburger meat, non-frozen, always fresh, just the way you like it. You look at delicious meat and you realize, oh snap, that also is a little too expensive to get the hamburger meat that you wanted to build those delicious hamburgers. And so you say, well, people will understand. My friends are very understanding. The price of hamburger meat is too much. What else can I buy? So then you go to, ah, I'm going to buy some good, good Polish sausage. Everybody loves a good Polish sausage at a barbecue. So you look at Polish sausages, and they're not as expensive as the price of beef went up. But man, Polish sausage is still pretty expensive, and you just can't afford it. And so eventually you say, shoot. Well, give me the Franks. And you buy Frank hot dogs. You invite all your friends over to the barbecue. And we'll call it a cliffhanger. I'll let you decide how that story ends. But let's talk about what just happened here. What happened here is that these, you might say, are substitutes. In your... Barbecue, you want the best meat, best steak, but as that gets a little too expensive, you substitute to the next best option, which is fresh ground beef, hamburgers. That's a little expensive, so you go then to the next best option, Polish sausage. That's a little more expensive, and so you go to the Frank's Hot Dogs, bar S, delicious, made with chicken, pork, and maybe some beef. Who knows what's in that? Best not to ask. And so these substitutes can be defined by looking at what we call The cross price elasticity. And that's the third kind of elasticity we're going to look at. So what the cross price elasticity tells us is we're going to look at the percentage change of quantity of one good, we'll call it Q2, when the price of another good changes. So in this first case, this right here is price one, this is Q2. So how much hamburger do you buy when the price of steak increases? All right, so if the price goes up and then you buy more of good two, this is positive, we call that substitutes. Now the other option is that the change, percentage change in quantity of good two for a percentage change in price of good one, if price goes up and quantity goes down, that would mean we are negative, and we call those complements. And so if the price of hamburger goes up, and you're not gonna buy hamburger, well then you're gonna buy less hamburger buns, because those goods are complements to one another. But here as the relative price of hot dogs goes down, you're going to buy more hot dog buns, and so therefore hot dogs and hot dog buns are complements. And by using these two equations right here, we can calculate the cross price elasticity to find how goods are related one to another. So I wish you the best of success as you go off this epic adventure of having a barbecue and that your friends will like you.